I have been testing a variety of Korean sunscreens over the last few months to find the best ones for the current and the upcoming season. And the ones I want to discuss today are the Mary and May Sika Soothing Sunscreen, the Sun By Me True Sika Aqua Calming Sunscreen, the Thank You Pharma Sun Project Skin Relief Sunscreen SPF 50, the Bellflower Avocado Moisture Sunscreen and the Cynic Enjoy All Round Airy Sun Stick, all of which are SPF 50. You see, my preferences change ever so slightly over the year. I want richer hydrating ones in winter, hydrating but more lightweight ones in spring and autumn, and then heavy duty ones for summer paired with weight loss options for touch-ups. So whatever you are looking for, here are a few suggestions for every occasion. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Dr. Anne, a physician passionate about skincare and well-aging. In addition to offering UV protection, the Mary and May Sika Soothing Sunscreen claims to help brighten the skin and fight wrinkles. When you look closely, the cream has a slight yellow color, barely noticeable, and it has a fresh floral scent. It is lightweight and spreads easily, feeling like a lotion rather than a cream. Use a decent amount, I like to go by the two fingers for the face rule, and apply liberally all over your face. I had no issues with it stinging my eyes, so I was able to take it right around them and did also not experience white cast, which admittedly isn't much of a problem for a pale me anyway. It was easy to spread and quick to absorb with absolutely no tackiness and no problems with reapplication during the day. For my personal taste, it is a little on the dewy side, but nothing a little powder wouldn't fix. Let's look at the filters first. There's UV Nula Plus for UVA protection, UV Nul T150 for UVB protection, and Tinozorb S and Uvazorb HEP protecting against both, which should give good broad spectrum protection. Then you have Niacinamide with its benefits, Glycerin and Sodium Hyaluronate for hydration, and of course the Centella Asiatica extract, 10,000 ppm to be exact, as well as Asiatico seed, Asiatic acid, Madagascar acid, and Madagascar seed. For additional soothing, there's also adenosine and fermented ingredients. For the scent, you'll have added fragrance. For me, this is a great one for winter and early spring when my skin craves hydration. Some by me claims their formula is a reef safe, which is a marketing claim I am not too fond of. If you don't know what I mean by that, I suggest checking out the video from Lab Muffin Beauty on that topic and that it is very refreshing without any tackiness or white cast. The sunscreen feels like cream. It is even more hydrating than the Mary and May one and takes a little while to sink in. It has no noticeable scent. After application, again a decent amount as last step in your morning skincare routine, there is no tackiness, but for my skin type it can be felt on the skin a little for at least an hour after application. Not in form of tackiness, but as layer of hydration. It doesn't disappear into the skin like others do. I can take it right up around my eyes without irritation and didn't experience issues with pilling or white cast. For filters, you will find Uvazorb HEP for UVA and UVB protection, Mexoril SX for UVA protection, Uvinul A Plus again for UVA protection, Tinozorb S for both UVA and UVB protection, and Uvinul T150 for UVB protection. So overall, you should get good broad spectrum protection. Then there are some plant extracts, some with known benefits like Centella Asiatica or Purslane extract and others that aren't for everyone like tea tree extract or lavender essential oil. For hydration we have trihalose as well as glycerin but way down the ingredient list and then niacinamide, panthenol and adenosine for additional skin benefits. Potentially troublesome for those with reactive skin are linalool, geraniol and limonene present as part of the essential oils most likely. For me, this is again one I prefer in winter for the extra hydration and that's probably aimed at skin types more on the dry side. The Thank You Pharma Skin Relief Sun Cream claims to be refreshing and soothing. It even mentions bringing relief to hot and inflamed skin. Again, there's no noticeable scent. The product is slightly off-white and feels indeed refreshing and very hydrating, like a lighter moisturizer. Application is easy, it spreads like a dream, can be brought up right to my eyes without irritating them and leaves the skin very hydrated. It does take a little to sink in completely, but no issues with pilling or white cast for me, 
not with first application and not when reapplying throughout the day. The filters used are UV Null A plus for UVA protection, UV Null T150 for UVB protection, and Tinozob M and Uvazob HEP for UVA and UVB protection. So you should get good protection through the whole spectrum. Then there are several plant extracts, out of which Centella Asiatica extract and licorice root extract have the most data, glycerin and humectant, and adenosine for extra soothing. I again like this one most for winter due to its very hydrating nature. Despite the avocado in the name, Belflor claims this is a lightweight sunscreen with additional skin soothing ingredients like adenosine, centella asiatica and niacinamide. And no, the sunscreen isn't green like an avocado but white and doesn't smell of avocado either. It has no scent I could notice and a very rich texture. Out of the sunscreens I'm reviewing today it was by far the richest. Due to its rich texture, I liked it a lot when it was really cold outside, but even when applying a generous amount, it never felt greasy or caused pilling, despite staying on the skin opposed to sinking in completely. I was able to take it around my eyes without irritation as well, and on my pale skin there were no issues with white cast either. For filters, you will find UV Null R Plus for UVA protection, UV Null T150 for UVB protection, and Tinozob M and Uvazob HEP for both UVA and UVB protection. So, again, broad coverage. Lysterin is used as humectant, niacinamide, and adenosine for the skin benefits, and as plant extracts, we have Centella Asiatica and the name giving avocado fruit extract. For me, this was the one I would reserve for winters, as it's too much when the weather gets warmer, so I think it will be amazing for dry skins. Now for the one that stands out a little, simply because it's a stick sunscreen. Cynic claims that it creates a protective transparent barrier shielding against UV rays. It is a yellowish stick that has a faint sunscreen scent and feels greasy upon touch. I never use sunscreen sticks as my main protection. Lab Muffin Beauty has a whole video on the topic where she shows you how much you actually need to get a decent coverage. Instead, I like to use my regular sunscreen and then use something like this for reapplying to the high points of my face during the day as a quick touch-up. It is amazing to reapply to kids as well. I always had this in my pocket when we went to the mountains for skiing. After you swipe it over your skin, it feels a little greasy for maybe a minute, but then disappears, which made it my husband's favorite. The Cynic Stick is actually the one of the sunscreens shown today that uses some of the less modern filters, in this case Octocrylene, Octisanate and Octinoxate, protecting in the UVB range. Octocrylene has more reported irritations than the more modern filters, but in general a good safety profile. Then there is UV Null A Plus for UVA protection and Tinozop as protecting against both, so in total good protection against both UVA and UVB rays, just not with modern filters only. There is also glycerin and humectant and adenosine for a potential soothing, although I'm not sure how both perform in the stick texture. You will find silica, probably responsible for the more powdery feel after application, and then a bunch of plant extracts that, according to the website, are Swiss alpine herbs aiming to purify the skin, but it also contain potentially irritating ones like lavender and citrus peel oil. Overall, it isn't my favorite in formulation and filters, but as I use it exclusively for reapplication and it doesn't feel as greasy as other sticks do, I will forgive that. All of the sunscreens I showed today are quite similar in filters used for protection and in baseline texture, the only exception being the Cynic Sunstick. All use modern filters that make for good broad protection and an elegant moisturizer-like texture. All are very hydrating, meaning that for my normal to oily skin they are better suited for colder days. Ranked by richness, I'd say the Bellflower is the richest, closely followed by the some by me True Sika sunscreen and the Mary and May Sika soothing one. Out of the four, Thank You Farmer is the lightest but still very hydrating and with the exception of the Cynic one that I use exclusively for reapplication during the day, all our office sunscreens I enjoyed but wouldn't use to go to the beach simply because they aren't water resistant. All have niacinamide, Centella Asiatica and adenosine, but uh, the Some By Me and the Thank You Farmer have quite a few other plant extracts added as well that might be a problem for 
more reactive skin, so patch test first. If there's anything you would like to add, please do so in the comments below. I will link to more videos you might find interesting on the screen and add links to my Instagram, blog and Patreon account in the description box. See you soon, bye!